So what's up you guys and welcome to my trending FPL transfers video for the up and coming game week 6. So without further ado, let's take a look at who's been getting transfer trendy this week. First up, and likely to be one of the most transfer trendy strikers for this game week, is one of my faves, Aguero. Aguero has scored five goals and got two assists in his last five Premier League games. That's an average of a goal a game. He grabbed his first hat-trick of the season in game week five against Watford, and he faces a more than struggling Crystal Palace side up next. Palace are bottom of the league. They have lost every single one of their last five games and they're yet to net even one goal so far this season. On paper, this fixture looks as if it's going to be an absolute massacre. And so it's easy to see why Aguero is trending in the transfers. So who is it that's making way for Aguero in your teams? The most likely candidate seems to be Firmino. Although a whole lot more cheaper than Aguero in that 8 mil area, people may be worrying about Firmino's rotation. He's got two goals and two assists in the last five, and that isn't bad. But it seems if people have the money, it looks as though they'd rather spend it on a City forward asset rather than on a Liverpool one. Of course, the expensive Kane, with just two goals to his name, and surprisingly Lukaku, are next in line for the transfers out for Aguero. Kaku has the same amount of goals as Aguero, with one less assist. So I'm not really sure why this swap is trendy. I think there is some thought that maybe Aguero has slightly better stats, and of course, on paper, he does look to have the better fixtures. And well, Kane to Aguero. Kane is a difficult one. He faces West Ham next week. On form, it seems an easy swap from Kane to Aguero. But we all know about Kane's abilities, so this is a difficult one. Next up and getting transfer trendy is Gross. I suspect people are getting transfer trendy with the Brighton man Pascal Gross for three reasons. First up, Gross places himself as one of the cheaper midfielders over the 30 point mark in the FPL. He is just 5.6 at the making of this video. Secondly, his run of fixtures. Despite facing Newcastle, Everton and Arsenal in his next three, both Everton and Arsenal have looked iffy. Brighton's attacking style could see him grab something there. Once over those three games, however, Gross does hit a nice sea of greens. And last step, he's already bagged himself two goals and two assists the same as Firmino this season, that's not bad for a midfielder of his price. Making way for Gross seems to be Pogba. Pogba has picked up a hamstring injury and on last hearing this injury is going to keep him out somewhere between four to eight weeks. I suspect people are downgrading Pogba to Gross to free up the cash to facilitate that Firmino to Aguero move up front. Last step and making it into the transfer trendy ranks is Newcastle's Lascelles. Newcastle have turned their fixtures around in the last three game weeks. They've managed to get themselves two clean sheets in those three games and Lascelles offers an attacking threat, especially for his price tag of just 4.6. He's scored a goal in the last two consecutive weeks in a row. He faces a Brighton side up next and although they look hot in attacking form, they haven't been quite as good in defence. So on their way out for Lascelles seems to be the Brighton defender Sutner. And I think some people are doing the Lascelles for the Southampton defender Stevens as well. I decided to do the Sutner to Lascelles swap my own team myself. As stated previously, for a similar price, people are trading a shaky defence in Brighton for a slightly better Newcastle one, whilst gaining a more attacking threat in the cells who could be likely to grab a goal or an assist, as well as those all-important defender clean sheets. And that's it you guys. Leave me a comment below on who you've transferred in and out for this game week. 
Have you been or do you plan to be transfer trendy? Let me know. As always, if you've enjoyed my videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe, contribute, hit that notifications button and do all those fabulous things. Until next time, Nymphria out.